They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The rogue royals. They just wanted to be free. They wanted to be free to love and be happy. I applauded that. In order for us to be able to move to the next chapter, you've got to finish the first chapter. It gave us a chance to create that home that we had always wanted. I've always felt as though this was a fight worth fighting for. about how to be a royal after she said she wasn't prepared. It comes as the new trailer for part two is released. Russell, what do you make of this or oh, these latest accusations of lying from this from the couple? Well, morning, Tracy. Well, I think, you know, Harry and Meghan looked really, really happy at their wedding, didn't they? And it went all downhill pretty, pretty uh, soon after that, unfortunately. Now, these latest allegations that have been hit uh, to the couple are pretty serious because Meghan has been sort of been bemoaning her uh, her time in the royal family and said that, uh, you know, she was all alone. Nobody helped her at all. And uh, and we've had a raft of uh, stories over the weekend totally, totally rubbishing that, saying that Meghan was given a 30-point dossier. She was given meeting after meeting, help from the Queen's closest trusted aides. Uh, you know, it was all there for her and she didn't want any help. She wanted to do it all on her own. And uh, and unfortunately, look that look where that got them. Yeah. And we also touched on this one as well, Russell, last week about Prince William. Um, now has come forward saying reportedly furious over that footage of that interview of Princess Diana, considering that he pleaded with, with the media to not use that again. Do you think that this clip being shown in this docuseries was intentional? Well, it's an interesting point. I mean, certainly that uh, we, we know, all know that William was uh, uh, completely furious with the BBC's investigation that came forward, uh, saying that, you know, Martin Bashir was a rogue reporter. And he said that that piece of film should never be shown again. He said it was not a legitimate uh, piece of journalism. Now, for, the, for Harry to use it in his documentary really, really smacks of this gulf between the brothers. And certainly he would have known what William, uh, his deepest feelings about that. And the people I've spoken to have said, yes, William is outraged at this. He's really, really angry that Harry would have done it. So, you know, again, whether it was intentional or not, it's uh, you know, it's part of part of the Netflix deal. And um, I don't think Harry may, may have not even had a choice in it, unfortunately. Well, majority of us have certainly watched that volume one of this docuseries. Do you think the royals will be watching it at all? Well, I got you know a lot of people in the palace are saying no, they won't watch it. They've just got the you know, palace aides to brief them mm -hmm. for it. But I can't believe for a second that they wouldn't want to watch it. I mean, the, you know, the fact that they've all been named pretty much. You know, William and Kate have come in for a bit of a bit of a bruising. Certainly, Harry saying that all the women so, so had to uh, maintain a certain mould in order to to become a part of the family. That's quite a pointed reference to Kate, which I found quite extraordinary. Uh, listen, I, I had on them. It's caused widespread criticism, especially from the British public, who seem to have had enough from the Sussexes. A recent poll from the Daily Mail found that 44% of people in Britain believe Meghan and Harry should lose their titles, while 42% think Harry should be excluded from the line of succession. According to the Daily Mail, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were warned that if they attended the monumentous event next year, then they would be booed by the British public. The Mail reports that top politicians as well as senior military figures have said stay at home, although we weren't really across whether the two actually planned to attend the event. Former Conservative leader Ian Duncan told the Daily Mail, if they dislike the royal family so much, why would they attend the coronation? As well as Tory MP David Mellor, who said they shouldn't come to the coronation. They categorically shouldn't come. They make money out of selling their family down the river. I think it should be made clear that the British people do not want them there. Historian and author Antonia Fraser agreed, saying, I hope they don't come because I want the King and Queen to be the centre of attention. It worries me that if they come, the cameras might waste time on them. They should stay holding hands in Hollywood. It's no secret that Harry and his father have had a fractured relationship ever since the Prince exited the monarchy in 2020. Before the Netflix show dropped, there was speculation that King Charles III was worried about what bombshells Harry would expose. 
Because of this, it was also speculated that King Charles would punish Harry by stripping him and Meghan of their remaining royal titles. That's something that many people actually want to happen. Last week, Tory MP Bob Seeley told his son, why should we allow him to keep his titles if he hates this country, the monarchy? If I had enough time, I'd be bringing in a private member's bill. If you want to hate the monarchy, you're Mr. Windsor. Jog on, grow up. I don't the individuals from, um, from last year doing that thing, running 100 metres and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And the American man here was incredibly false. Yeah. Incredibly it was great chance, did not it? Oh. Really yeah. So you like to watch it together? Yes. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, really? Please. Boom. Hi, all. First of all, a huge thank you. Your response to my series on this has been incredible. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for the, taking the time to write all your comments, your thumbs up, everything you've done. I, I just can't thank you enough. It means the world. Second of all, you guys, this preview to the next one, woo, I will be diving into it. I can't, I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. It looks dreadful and I can't wait to dive into more lies and see what these two are I don't know, being professional victims about next. And sounds like it's just a big, I'm jealous of William and Kate, if you ask me. But um, guys, I'm, I'm super excited to talk more about it. I really like putting this compilation together. I like showing um, the things she said versus the truth that has come out elsewhere, such as, you know, the house that they filmed in not being theirs. Uh, the stock footage used in the documentary what that wasn't actually their footage. Um, of course, the claims that she wasn't handed a rule book, and yet people have spoken out saying, yes, you were. You were giving, you know, guides and help to help you adjust. We didn't just throw you in, you know, things like that. So if you want to see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comments. If there is a lie that stands out to you where you've seen her say or do, you know, contradict herself let me know that too, because I want to put together a big compilation of that. I find it fascinating. I want to follow back up on that. If you have any other ideas for a video, let me know that in the comments too. I welcome them all. A sincere thank you for being here. If you want to further support the show, um, hit that subscribe button. It really does help. Hit the thumbs up and you can check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where I do like silly deep dives on shows like Sex and the City. I'm working my way through those episodes now. So check that out, and thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you, and have a wonderful day. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.